Hey sportsman, John Bergsma. We're here today in beautiful Muskegon, Michigan, right out in front of Babbitt's, the biggest power sports retailer on the west side of the state and the best place to get your new ATV, RV, Wave Runner, you name it. Babbitt's is open for business. They're flying through their inventory, but we got five great reports for you. We've got Monroe and Port Clinton, Ohio. We've got Holland, Michigan, right down the way from Muskegon here. Some awesome western side of the state action. We've got, jump over to the St. Clair River with Captain Nick Dude. He has got us on the fish there in the St. Clair River. Then we're up to Sheboygan, Michigan for the opener, not the opener technically, but the first time of the year that Captain John Kennedy's been out on the water. Then we drop back down to Ludington, just north of us here, for some great west side of the state trolling action with Captain Ryan. Stay tuned, five great reports. Fishing is going right now in the state of Michigan. Hey, so we got a couple of great Lake Erie reports to start with. Right out of Monroe, Michigan, Breast Bay, Luna Pier, Sterling State Park, Monroe, you name it, that whole area south of the mouth of the Detroit River. Captain Nick Dode from Real Live Action Charters has been whacking really good fish there and also up on the St. Clair River. Now Nick says that the Monroe fish are 18 to 22 feet, 30 to 50 back, with flicker shads, flicker minnows. Now we sent our guest report and our guest host, John Jansen from, that's right, MGO Blue Michigan Football. Him and his family went out with that information last week and whacked a really nice family limit of fish. Now John's an avid fisherman and he's gonna keep us abreast of what happens down there in that greater Southeast region because he fishes down there quite a bit, obviously being situated close to Ann Arbor. But John says that that program worked perfectly, put an awesome limit in the boat in short order. So 18 to 22 feet, 1.7 to 1.9, 30 to 50 feet back with flicker shads, gold and purples, and also some perch patterns seem to be the best. Now, if you slide around the corner, we've got Captain Gary Zart. Gary Zart from Blue Dolphin Walleye Charters has been going out of the Port Clinton region recently. They've been whacking really nice limits of fish. Gary's got a brand new boat. You gotta check it out. This thing is awesome. It's a great big old pursuit and he's taking groups out even on those little bit windier days. So call Gary for a great trip. The fish at Port Clinton, 32 to 45 feet of water. That's where most of the fish are holding. 40 to 100 back. 1.6 to 1.8 miles an hour, multicolored, brightly colored bandits, gold-based bandits with purples on dark days, and on brighter days, the, the chromer-based uh, bandits as well. But again, 40 to 100 back is somewhere gonna be in about that nine foot to 22 foot down range. So suspended fish for sure. So Gary always runs the HLS uh, Customs, it's a great company. You can get those baits online. But again, Captain Gary Zart, Blue Dolphin, he's catching lots of fish there in Port Clinton. So get out on Lake Erie. It doesn't really matter where you go from the Huron region all the way around to Lorraine. The bite is hot. This is our TH100V, brand newly introduced for 2020. This is our uh, most popular. We've got a tool holder caddy. Uh, everybody's famous, that we're pretty famous for, for going into our tracks that a lot of guys have bought over all the years. And so as more boats start getting a lot more other gear in their tracks, we've had a lot of clients ask us for taking and putting a tool holder caddy on the side of our vertical tree, just because our tree offers so many options uh, of use of things that we can do with it with all of our accessories. So this is a TH100V holds our pliers in here, hang our baits in the holes, screwdriver in here, same thing, it's attached on here with two stainless steel screws. We can adjust it up and down this post wherever we want it to go. So hey, right down the road from Muskegon where we're here at Babbitt's is Holland and the Port of Holland is ripping already. Captain Mark Rapson from Black Pearl Sport Fishing Charters. He's been out a couple of times now, a couple of weekends. You know, Mark is a healthcare professional, so being on the front lines, getting out fishing for him when his charter business is not just, uh, not just getting away fishing, it's needed time off. And Mark tells us that there's awesome fishing going on. Mixed bag fishing, not just lake trout, a lot of silvers, a lot of kings, steelhead, coho mixed in with a lake trout. What's the best depth? 
50 to 80 feet of water, 30 to 40 feet down with low divers set, oh, 60 to 75 back with chrome spin doctors. Number eight spin doctors has been the key, a really high flash thing. And we're using a combination of different patterns. Obviously, early in the season, Super Slims is gonna work good. You can also run flies off that. You can also run standard size Dreamweaver spoons as well. Now, if you're on your board rods, Mark tells us that the five to eight color LEDs or the 75 out to 200 coppers have by far been the best producers. Now again, lots of fish. You can run a lot of different things off those baits, but primarily brightly colored early of the year spoons has been the best. UVs, lots of colors, mixed veggies, uh, green dolphins, blue dolphins. There's all kinds of good colors out there to use at this time of the year, but a lot of fish and a lot of different mixed fish, not just a bunch of lake trout. So get a hold of Captain Mark Rapson, get out on the Black Pearl, enjoy the Port of Holland, Michigan. It is truly one of the best fishing destinations anywhere on the western shore of Lake Michigan. You know, today's anglers need a ton of battery power to run all the accessories we're running, big electronics, 36 volt trolling motors, and crank up our big engines. I'm Captain Lance Valentine. Let me show you the battery storage in my Polarcraft Kodiak. In the back, the stern of the boat, we've got a place for two batteries, for an accessory battery and a cranking battery, plus an oil tank or a water, fuel water separator. And underneath the rod locker, we have a spot to put three 31 series batteries to run our 36 volt trolling motor. Don't be caught short of power. Check out these features and everything else that the Polarcraft credit has to offer at your local Polarcraft dealer. So hey, next report, Captain Nick Dode again, this time from the St. Clair River. Now, Nick spends his time going between the St. Clair River and the Monroe Luna Pier area of the Western Basin. That's where he primarily does most of his chartering early in mid-season. So Nick spent a couple days over at the St. Clair River and said the fishing there right now is just lights out. It's awesome. One ounce jigs, deep river basin, because last week the river was really clean. So one of my tips is, is when that river cleans up, Nick said slide out 30 to 45 feet of water right out in the main channel of the river with one ounce plastics, with blues, and with darker colors like purple flash, things like that, and tons of fish, really nice sized fish. And I tell you what, if you've never been on the St. Clair River, this is something you gotta try because the scenery on the St. Clair River, the beautiful homes and the activity and people out in their backyards and birds and all kinds of nature around you, it's not what you would think. Drifting that St. Clair River is a great experience and it really, really is a fish catching experience as well. So give Captain Nick a call He'll take you out for a great St. Clair River experience. Now, if you're going to slide down and you still want a river experience, but you're more in that Detroit lean, then you're going to want to call Captain Eric Long from Long Lines Charters. Now, Captain Eric has told me basically the same thing Nick's telling me about the St. Clair. On those clean water days, you want to slide out to deeper mid-channel areas. It seems like the fish are really stacking up in that deep water when the water's clean. Now, obviously, when we're doing this report, we're two days into a three-day northeast blow. It's going to be a really muddy mess there for a little bit. So maybe shallower water is going to work better for you here on Thursday, Friday. But by Saturday and Sunday, with that calming weather and that really warm, balmy weather, River fishing, either on St. Clair or Detroit, is going to be hot, hot, hot. Same thing, darker colors in dirty water, lighter, brighter colors in clean water and deeper water. So, St. Clair River Captain Nick, Detroit River Captain Eric, give them a call. And remember, whenever you're looking for their contact information, all you got to do is go to our website, click on the fishing report that that applies to their guide service, and their information is right there at the end of the report. Are you in the market for a new trailer? For all your trailer needs, big or small, visit Beck's Trailer Superstore on Highway 127, north of St. John's. So, chatted with Captain John Kennedy from MFM Sport Fishing Charters, and he's headed out this weekend for his inaugural 
Sheboygan trip. Now the Port of Sheboygan is rolling already. He's been out on trips, you know, searching for fish and he tells me that the fish are 35 to 45 out on structure ledges. Kind of similar to Alpena and even Mackinac City. It seems like those fish in Northern Lake Huron are really following the same pattern. The month of May, 35 to 50 foot of water in higher columns. So coppers are gonna be 75 to 150 back on Dreamweaver spoons. Brightly covered super slims are gonna be your best bet this time of year. Lots of different colors work, but just lots of colors. Oranges, yellows, blues, gold back spoons. All that type of stuff is gonna work really good. Now, the other thing that's really important is that you find structures that have those ledges. So if you're looking for some ideas, south side of Boblo Island is a really good spot to find ledges like that. Another really good spot is Spectacle Reef, another one Reynolds Reef. There's lots of reef structures between the Port of Sheboygan and Reynolds Reef that you're going to run over that have got tops on them that are in that right depth of 35 to 50 foot. Those are the types of structures you're going to want to start looking for lake trout up in Sheboygan. 2.3 to 2.5 miles an hour. Again, northeast corner of Michigan is going to have a lot of calm water typically with a southwest prevailing wind. Those ports are going to be calm. You should be able to head out and find good fishable water and find a lot of lakers and mixed bag Atlantics and coho also up there, right there around the port of Sheboygan. So if you're looking to get out, Give Captain John from MFM Sport Fishing Charters a call. He'll get you out, he'll show you a great time, and you'll learn something about the awesome fishing there in Sheboygan, Michigan. Hey, are you in the market for a small outdoor shed, carport, or small storage building? Visit my friends up at Midwest Steel Carports. They'll travel anywhere in the Lower Peninsula to install your shed or carport for you. Visit them online at MidwestSteelCarports.com. So hey, we're gonna end up the day with possibly one of the best reports. We're just north of Muskegon here. We're at Babbitt's today and we're just north in the port of Ludington. Captain Ryan Bullard has an awesome report. He said fishing is happening big time up there in Ludington. And with all this east wind we've been having, that water on the, on the west shore from Ludington to Holland is not stirred up and bad at all. That's gonna be very fishable water right now. So, tons of fish. And again, just like Mark Rapson from Holland, it's not just lake trout. There's lots of mixed kings. There's cohos, there's steelhead, there's lakers. There's all kinds of fish. Up in the Ludington area, Ryan says it's typically happening from, six, from uh, 60 to 75 foot of water. It's happening for mostly on divers if you're looking for kings. He said the divers have been by far the most accurate or I mean the most active when you're looking for just king salmon. Now if you're looking for just a regular spread, of course, throw a spread of coppers out, your divers and your riggers, and you never know which one's going to talk to you. Now again, if you're looking for good colors, Dreamweaver's got a couple that he mentioned, the Rasta Goose and the Standard Green Dolphin are all working really good. He could caught tons of fish on those colors. He's running most of his stuff in behind a number eight spin doctor. Again, uh, the, the whitish alewife crush is a really good color that he runs a lot of early in the year. But one of the keys he said is, if you're looking for numbers of fish, you're gonna wanna try to tend towards a little bit of discolored or stained water. So maybe look high or low of a creek mouth, something where you've got some flow coming out of it, where it's gonna throw some dirt into the water and a few miles either direction on the downwind side of that flow of water is gonna give you some stain or some discoloration in that water. You're likely to find a lot more fish in that water than just the gin clean water that might be on the other side of that. So there's a little tip for you. 2.3 to 2.7, somewhere in there is happening, but Ludington is happening big time right now. If you're looking to get out, give Captain Ryan a call. His information is on the Ludington Fishing Report at Fisherman'sDigest.com. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us today. You know, we're here out in front of Babbitts and Babbitts like all of these businesses that are coming out of the backside of coronavirus and the COVID-19 scare, these businesses need your patronage. They need you to show up now, 
get those cottages set up, whether you're in the market for an ATV or a wave runner, or you're looking to upgrade a cycle or things like that. One of the things to remember coming out of this is you've never seen such good interest rates and such, such awesome deals as they've got going right now. So check it out at Babbitt's. They're here at Airline Road in Muskegon. They've got a good selection, but be honest, some of that selection's starting to really go fast because people are flooding in here. And for right now, they suggest you call and make an appointment to uh, meet with one of the sales personnel, and then you can walk through the showroom with that salesman and see what they've got and make your best deal and get that new ATV, Wave Runner, Cycle, you name it. Everything is on sale here at Babbitt's, right here in Muskegon. So hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week on the Michigan Hot Bites Fishing Report.